willkommen zurück. Wir nähern uns tatsächlich langsam dem Ende von Technomancer. Wir sind jetzt äh, uns vorbereiten für einen Gegenschlag gegen Victor. Hi. Zachariah, to what do I owe this privilege? I'm looking for work. You need help with anything? Our nation is just beginning. There is enough work for a billion men. For example, an old, worn-down pump at one of our artesian wells has stopped working. And where it is, a creature lurks, terrifying our workers, keeping them from the repairs. If you could, get rid of the creature and make the repairs. You may need a good mechanic, unless you are able to repair it on your own. Let me see what I can do. Tell me what you know about Phobos. We are not too well acquainted as I am new to here, but what I can say is that he is incredible, courageous and intelligent. A large reason the valley has become what it is today. He freed many dozens of us, forged trade agreements for us with Noctis, kept us informed of the news from abundance. Unlike many, never once has he let himself be blind to hate for humans. When he speaks, mutants listen. He has seated our young nation, and for that, he has my eternal respect. What do you know about Cain? Our murderous brother, ragefully violent, greedy for power, hungry for revenge, chose his name from the legendary assassin of the settlers, a hero whose legend he hopes to live up to. His only drive is to eradicate humankind, and his hate has become contagious, Gathering followers who feel the need for revenge deep within their hearts. It is not that they are wrong for all the hurt they have suffered. It is just that for a hopeful future, they are not right. Wer sind Seth und Deimos? What do you know about Seth? Little, a companion of Phobos at one time, and together they helped found the valley before they grew apart. Seth was drawn by Cain's hateful rhetoric and sucked into his bitterness. Can you tell me about Demos? He chose his freedom name when Phobos did. Not bright, but dedicated with a loyal, caring heart. He was very involved in the development of our valley, and as far as I know, committed to Phobos' cause. So, dann machen wir Lager 19, okay. Where are you from? The mines that would become Camp 19 during the war. I was born a slave. The last of the long line of mutants. The first, I am told, to have committed a treachery that cost him their face and soul. Tell me you don't believe that bullshit. The beliefs one are raised in are hard to shake, no matter how hard one tries. Since I have been here, Talk to Phobos and others. It has become a story that seems less than likely. If you wish to know of the mines from which I came, there is little I can tell. They dug for water and ore. It was harsh, isolated. Then it became a camp and it changed and became hell. Okay, und die Wüste. You crossed the desert to get here, didn't you? How'd that go? It is a desert now, only by name. Our planet is changing, growing, with or without its inhabitants. The lichen has been spreading, and at night, the dunes come alive with life. Dangerous, yes, but it is telling how your kind have turned this planet into a large rock with just a few cities. You dream of leaving it, and that is good for you. But for my kind, there is no hope of acceptance back on the blue marble. This is our home, from now into eternity. And with that, it is with great joy that I witness our planet open itself up to life. I heard you escaped. How'd you do it? Through a very sad and beautiful story. Sad because of the lives such success cost. Beautiful for the outcome it created. Are you aware of the conditions of the prisoner camps? Factories of pain and sadness. Mutants are harassed by fellow inmates and guards alike. Beaten. 
Mistreated, forced to work, many died from exhaustion or untreated wounds. One day, one of my people had fallen from exhaustion. I tried to stop a guard from hitting him. Understand, I am not violent, but their violence had to stop, so I struck the guard and after that events escalated. Rioting soon had become the only solution. We never had the thought of running away, only the need to show we would not live in those conditions anymore. A man, another prisoner, gave us aid. You remember his name? Yes, Roy Temperance. He had a boy. Innocence, I believe. They gave us tools to defend ourselves, but the key to our escape came with the death of the camp's administrator. A soldier? A technomancer, placed there by his superiors for disobeying orders, from what I understood. No one dared look him in the eyes. His name was, if I recall correctly, Sean Manser. Did you know him? I... yeah. Yeah, I knew Sean. He was my master. He was growing tired of the path Abundance was taking, and he probably said it one too many times to one too many people. I am sorry, Zachariah. Even if his death made way for our escape, I can feel your pain. Krass. Krass. Okay, das muss ich mir glaube ich nochmal reinziehen, das ist spät hier. Mit wem soll ich mit ihm hier sprechen oder wird? Zachariah, I'm going to need your investigative talents. What's going on? You probably remember that someone turned in my mother. She was one of our backers in Ophir. Without her, our plans to smuggle out our brothers are quite impossible to happen. And I miss her a lot. And then there was Kane's attack while we were about to seal the deal with that Aurora official. Someone turned us to our enemies once again. This can't be sheer coincidence. Someone is trying to slow down our effort and impede our cause. Beyond the fact that what happened to my mother deserves vengeance, I must stop the one who was behind those betrayals, or he will end up making our young nation lose. Are you thinking of someone in particular? Maybe Kane's men? After all, he did step in to scuttle the negotiations with the merchant. No. Only a few people knew my plans, and even few were my mother's identity. Especially not Kane. He must have been given information on the negotiator. I don't have a name, unfortunately, and that's why I'm asking for your assistance. It's probably someone close. Someone who lived in Ophir with a good excuse to travel to Noctis often. You're good at investigation. I've seen you at work. Help me find the culprit and stop him from doing any more harm. Na klar. All right. I guess that we could learn more about that traitor by talking to the valley people. Thank you, Zachariah. Yes. It's okay. Das heißt, er ist aus dem Lager geflohen, den war also wir haben ja in Mars Warlocks Mutanten geholfen. Und er ist scheinbar damit bei gewesen. Aber was ich nicht ganz so gerafft habe, dass unser Meister... War das der Sean, den wir an Teil 1 gespielt haben? Das wäre cool. Zachariah. I think it's time I answered Victor's constant attacks. I'm gonna need help though. That's what family is for, Zachariah. We are family, united by the mutual suffering inflicted by Victor. His time to pay for all he's done has come. We are united in that. So, jetzt kann ich bestimmt hier raus, oder? Ja, na klar, okay. Bevor wir das machen, gucke ich mich hier aber nochmal um. Hier 
Hier komme ich wahrscheinlich dann auch raus, oder? Mhm. Ah, das Tor bleibt offen. Sehr gut. So, hier waren wir ja. Aber den Gang kennen wir noch nicht. So, das ist ja der normale Eingang. Was haben wir denn hier noch? Hier sind wir vorhin hoch. Ach, wir sollten ja mit Leuten hier reden, ne? Genau. Look around, please. But don't break nothing. Many fragile things. You break, you buy. I'm looking for mutants that may have been in both Ophir and Noctis the past few years. There are many. Before settling in the valley, most mutants from Ophir passed through Noctis. Any of them still go back to Noctis regularly? Any that might have been close to Phobos back in the day? Fewer than many, for sure. Why? Are you still watching us? Think we still belong to you? Stop. Don't do that. My friend here is only trying to help me with a personal issue. One of our own, I believe. Sabotage missions we took on to try and help Mutant Valley. We are trying to figure out who that might have been. Hmm. So, someone with a grudge against you. <laughs> Perhaps one of Kane's clan. But they wouldn't have known about Phobos' mother. Then someone from Kane's clan who was once close to Phobos. His friends Demos and Seth may fit that bill. Can you let me return to my work now? Sure. Of course. Thank you. Goodbye then. Of course. Come back if you're ever in a buying mood. So. Ach, hier können wir uns irgendwo erholen. Fortunately, this is beyond my skill level. So, das ist unsere Ladertour. Okay. Ähm, war hier noch einer zum Talken? Nicht wirklich, aber wir können trotzdem mal hier rüber gucken. Musik erinnert mich irgendwie an die Witcher-Serie, warum auch immer.
Ach. Ernsthaft? Damit habe ich jetzt hier hinten nicht mehr gerechnet. So, was kriegen wir denn hier fein? Das ist bestimmt eine Level 3 Kiste hier? Nee. Bitte was Gutes. Naja. Hey, jetzt ist er plötzlich... Hey, da war doch niemand. Nee, das ist ja was anderes. Ich kann mich nicht erinnern, dass, eine, dass wir an einem Ausrufezeichen vorbeilaufen sind, aber gut. Ah, wir haben gar nicht die Nächtigkeit, fällt mir dazu auf. Wir haben gar nicht den Erfahrungsboost gekriegt. Shitty. War das nicht hier wahrscheinlich mit der Pumpe irgendwo? Found the well and pump. It's beat to hell though. Gonna take a lot of material to get it going again. Definitely can't replace it. Or maybe there are similar types of equipment in the generators used by the cities. Gotta be one in Ophir and Noctis. Even if the folks there aren't gonna be happy about ruining their machines. Okay. Uff, hier könnten wir was machen, ne? Da müssen wir eh noch hin. Na gut, dann würde ich sagen, machen wir erstmal ein Folgenpäuschen speziell. Bedanke mich. Bis dann.